Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to make homemade granola bars. That's easy and quick and will be done within 30 minutes or so. That's including prep time. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off, we're going to need two cups of rolled oats. I use Bob Red Mill for my oats. I've tried sprouted and I don't love the texture as much, so I just stick to the rolled oats, like these specific. I feel like there are some brands that don't, like it doesn't necessarily matter, but then there are some that do and I just... Just like the taste better of this brand. I don't know. So anyway, you have two cups of your oats. Then I'm gonna do two tablespoon of flax seed. Um, I'm gonna do a cup of all-purpose flour. You can also do almond flour if you'd like, but I'm gonna do all-purpose flour because that's what I have. Now I'm going to add in my salt. I use half a teaspoon of salt. Then I need a teaspoon of cinnamon. So just a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, so now I'm gonna add a cup of, this is coconut oil. I melted it already, so I didn't have to do it. So a half a cup of coconut oil. And then I'm also gonna do a half a cup of honey as well. Um, when I first started making these, I did not measure it out. I just kind of like guesstimated, which, had some hit and miss results, um, so I actually do measure it out um, because if you don't have the right amount of like oil, liquid, basically what holds the bars together, they'll be really crumbly, which I mean, it depends on what your goal is. If you want to use it for like granola, it's perfect. It's actually really good. We, when it was crumbly like that, we would use it and make yogurt parfaits and my son loved them those were his one of his favorite snacks but we kind of wanted to eat granola bars so i measure it out now so I, i'm uh, so they're actually granola bars and not granola crumbles what's nice about this as a snack too is i'm not gonna say it's like the most uber healthy thing that you could eat because I mean, you can give your kids fruit or vegetables or whatever. This is just really nice because it's an easy snack to grab. You can add it with lunch. You can have it for like an after school snack. Like I like to have it too if you're like on the go, it's a good snack to grab. And it's nice because you know what's in it. These are all really simple ingredients. It's not like you have like, like ingredients you can't pronounce or like you don't have any preservatives in here because it's like you just eat it within the week and then you make more if you want more or you make it on occasion for a special treat. Like, that's what I like about it. I like that I know what's in my food and what's in my son's food and it's still pretty good. And I mean, I am going to add some chocolate chips after I add the honey, but you can, draw, you can add nuts, you can add cranberries you can add raisins if you wanted to like you really can customize it and make it your own and add as much or as little as you want um so i really liked it i, I mean i really like making it 
Now I've got honey everywhere. Our honey is in a jar because my sister-in-law, her husband, their parents, is that a confusing web? They actually have honeybees. So they gave us some honey this year and I've loved it. It's so good. Raw honey is so good. All right, so I'm just gonna add the rest of these because this is about a cup. Maybe a little less than that. And then we just mix together. I just like to make sure when I'm mixing it that everything is kind of coated with the coconut oil and the honey. So just make sure when you're mixing it that it's like you don't have a ton of like dry spots or um, it's not gonna bake well. So just make sure you really mix it well. Okay, when you have your oats like nice and coated and your flour is mixed in, I've already prepared it, but this is like a nine by 13 baking dish. I've lined it with some parchment paper um, so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And I'm just gonna pour in. And now I'm just gonna spread it out on my, in my dish. Um, you can use a spatula. What I did is I ripped off a little bit of extra parchment. And once I kind of get this spaced out, I'm gonna press it down so it will press together. So you get like that bar look. And my little parchment and I'm just gonna press it just packs in your oats make sure they're really packed together it also like just solidifies it. You know, and it's how like some of it was still kind of crumbly. So this just presses it all together. I'm just going along the sides and pressing any of the loose um, oats up so that way it will bake into the bar. But then once you've done that, I've preheated my oven already to 350, so I'm gonna put it in there for about 20 to 25 minutes, and then I will take it out and let it cool completely, and they're ready to eat. Super simple, easy, takes less than 30 minutes. Now we wait to let them cool and then they will be good to eat.